गुड आफ्टरनून एवरी वन राजेश जी वेलकम मनोज जी वेलकम फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल ऑन बिहाफ ऑफ आईपा आई वेलकम यू ऑल एंड यू आर अवेयर दैट वी हैव बीन मेकिंग एफर्ट्स टू सी दैट वट एवर न्यू डेवलपमेंट्स आर देयर रिलेटिंग टू दी प्रोफेशन दूज आर विद रिस्पेक्ट टू द सेम वी आर प्राइज अवर मेम्बर्स वी डू अवर नॉलेज शेयरिंग एंड वट एवर स्पेशली वट एवर जजमेंट्स आर देयर लैंडमार्क जजमेंट्स आर देयर सो वी ऑर्गेनाइज वेबिनार सो दैट मेम्बर्स दे कम टू नो Uh, as to uh, what that judgment is and then we invite some expert so that uh, we can know the views of the expert uh, uh, much, uh, so i think rajesh ji does not need any introduction all of us are aware that uh, rajesh sharma ji was former uh, is former member uh, nclt and uh, i think before starting let me uh, in do professor aware but in brief will share his uh, profile uh, with you so this is uh, uh, rajesh sharma ji is a former member nclt where his proficiency in insolvency and bankruptcy law is quite evident all of us are aware that uh, and mostly we uh, find him sharing his views in uh, in uh, seminars uh, webinars seminars and all uh, that Uh, uh, his bench at Mumbai disposed of more than two thousand five hundred cases of IBC and Companies Act in a span of total five hundred days sitting, thereby giving an average disposal rate of five cases per day. My God, five hundred disposal is must be a record. It's a big achievement on his part, and this must be one of the highest disposal rate among all NCLT benches across India. Recipient of most prestigious national award of ICAI, CA member in public service two thousand twenty two. he is a fellow member of icai and an mba finance from the faculty of management studies university of De delhi apart from the post graduate in in commerce and so on he has also held pivotal positions as the chief general manager at the nhai as the cfo of the hsi hsidc and as director general of the services export promotion council of india ministry of commerce and industry government of india over his 33 years career he has excelled in various domains including insolvency and bankruptcy law npa management finance economics accountancy industrial management and corporate governance he is a uh, sought after speaker at national and international conferences and has been actively involved in government and non government committees and delegations his extensive global experience is evident through his travels to various countries Uh, enriching his perspective he is one of the distinguished professionals in the country who is having end to end experience from the stage of conceptualization of projects to resolution or dissolution of the corporates his youtube channel insolvency veterans is quite popular all of us must have seen uh, i think i am regularly seeing that sir in is quite popular where he discusses ibc and corporate law with luminaries like sc and hc judges former president and members of nclt and anclate etc so uh, please join me in welcoming uh, 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 rajesh sharma ji so thank you uh, so sir uh, uh, welcome and uh, i think uh, we will be having uh, uh, an interaction where where uh, uh, after this event we all of us will be immensely benefited uh, with your experience and knowledge and uh, before that i request uh, uh, our uh, president Uh, uh president ipa which is mr manoj anand i think he will be just briefing us and then after that we will be having a session we will make uh, discussions with rajesh sharma ji and if we are having any questions with respect to this particular judgment so we will be asking those questions with uh, rajesh ji and uh, we will request rajesh ji also to to uh, tell us as to what is his view about this particular judgment and what is the a ratio of this particular judgment but before that uh, manoj anand ji will be briefing us about the facts and 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 about this judgment so uh, over to you manoj ji thank you very much thanks a lot hum logo ne bahut hi short notice pe sharma ji ko rajesh sharma ji ko request kari aaj morning mein and he was uh, i am really happy to say that he inhone being our uh, you know गाइड फ्रेंड एंड फिलोसफर और मोर एज ए फ्रेंड इन्होंने हमारी रिक्वेस्ट को सीट करा और कहा कि मैं मनोज जी आपको अपनी ब्लेसिंग्स दूंगा ज्वाइन करके 
और यू नो बेसिकली आज हमारा डिस्कशन का जो मुद्दा है सेक्शन ट्वेल्व ए है और इनफैक्ट वट लेटर बट आई नो अबाउट हिम इज ऑल्सो जो ऑनरेबल सुप्रीम कोर्ट ने व्यू लिया है यू नो देर वॉज ए क्वाइट कंफ्लिक्टिंग व्यू ऑन दिस पर्टिकुलर सेक्शन बट शर्मा सर का भी वही व्यू था जो अल्टीमेटली ऑनरेबल सुप्रीम कोर्ट ने लिया है यू नो वेन ही वॉज प्रोसाइडिंग एन सी एल टी बेंच से तो शर्मा जी वी आर रियली रियली थैंकफुल टू यू एंड वी वेलकम यू होल हॉटेडली आल्सो मिस्टर एम ओ कुमार आल्सो प्रॉमिस टू ज्वाइन अस तो बट उन्होंने का ऑल ऑफ ए सडन कोई प्रोग्राम आ गया ही विल बी ज्वाइनिंग अस इन बिटवीन ही सेट की फॉर अ ब्रीफ आई बी ज्वाइनिंग देयर तो वी थॉट कि जब हमारे साथ दो सच अ बिग लिब्रेरीज आर देयर तो मैं इनके सामने क्या कुछ बात करूंगा कुछ कहूंगा बट इवन देन यू नो जस्ट टू स्टार्ट विद मिस्टर शर्मा वुड यू लाइक टू हैव सम फ्यू वर्ड्स बिफोर वी स्टार्ट डेलीब्रेटिंग ऑन आर दिस टेक्निकल टॉपिक प्लीज सेव फ्यू वर्ड्स यस फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल मिस्टर आनंद एंड मिस्टर शर्मा थैंक यू वेरी मच फॉर इन्वाइटिंग मी हियर यू नो आई वॉज वॉचिंग दिस केस वेन बाई जू वॉज बींग डिस्कस इन दुप्रीम कोर्ट and uh, you know it is really heartening the way the supreme court has dealt with this case because it has set all the ambiguities to the re- to rest and now i think all nclts and an honorable nclt they all will be adhering to what is required in the law and what is being practiced i think there will be a synergy in both the things which was somehow lacking somewhere you know it's it's a, it's a uh, very uh, new law that we got and i hope now everything will be streamlined now uh, you know we, we, we i open up the pandora box for the uh, uh, for everybody to deliberate on this particular judgment and i would request uh, our honorable nclt member honorable and ms nilay sharma to take the baton for me and uh, you know start deliberating and wherever uh, we have the question we shall answer collectively uh, to all the audience or even before that uh, i would say i, I would request our honorable uh, guest of honor to uh, you know add uh, what i had left or what i have missed or uh, because naturally we are in solvency profession we uh, we know how to run the company but as far as legal aspects are concerned uh, sir knows far far better than us sir please welcome and uh, start your uh, you know deliberation uh thank you mr anand i was uh listening to you with lot of attention and uh, i have gone through the judgment of honorable supreme court in this case you know i could not find even a single word or sentence in the honorable supreme court decision which is not written in the law it is 12a and 30a 12a section and 30a regulation of ca supreme court has just enlightened us that dear sirs and madams what is written is there please follow it nothing else tell me even a single word which honorable supreme court has added in the law or or for that matter they have said that this is what the whatever is the written law they have just re, uh, you know um, they have just reiterated that and uh, and said that please follow it what is written there nothing more than that 30a there is a clear cut uh, procedure which has been laid in the crp regulation that what is to be done at what stage what is to be done irp is to be uh, uh, you know involved in every uh, matter the form fa is to be filed with our irp irp will file an ia everything is written there the basic problem which we were facing is that we were not following 12a and 30 regulation 30a religiously in all our proceedings it is convenient for everybody not to follow the law tell us when the 
suspended management is interested in settling with the suspend uh, with the creditor concerned he used to come either at nclt level or nclt level and we have been conveniently passing the orders for closure of the uh, uh, crp if it is before coc formation if it is after coc formation of course 90% of the voting right has to be uh, uh, exercised in favor of the uh, uh, settlement on rebel nclt has been you know it is for the convenience also because there is no point when the settlement is being uh, uh, brought before nclt and nclt nclt says go back to nclt and now, uh, settle your case there file your uh, file your uh, form fa there and uh, uh, let the rp deal with it you know for and let me tell you whatever has been practiced till now it is not only at nclt level honorable supreme court has also been passing the orders confirming the nclt orders of settlement now they have provided full clarity on this issue and they have made the procedure to be practiced by all the practitioners including the benches at nclt and nclt this is what my take on this judgment is nothing more than that तो बेसिकली कहने का मतलब यह था कि जैसे हम अपनी सी ए के प्रैक्टिस में या आई पी की प्रैक्टिस में शॉर्टकट यूज करते हैं काम करने के लिए सिमिलरली यू नो लॉ अथॉरिटीज और जुडिकेटिंग अथॉरिटीज हैज ऑल्सो बीन यू नो यूजिंग दिस थिंग देयर बिकॉज उनको अल्टीमेटली लगता है कि देखो केस सेटल हो रहा है ना होने दो इसके अंदर क्योंकि थोड़ी बहुत ही प्रोसीजर रेगुलेटरीज हैं भी है तो लेट डेट भी दिया लेकिन सर इसके अंदर एक बात जो जैसे इस पर्टिकुलर केस के अंदर एक बात आ गई यू नो हेयर वॉट है कि बीसीसीआई ने जो एक बात है सीक्रेटली या अदरवाइज अपना सेटलमेंट कर लिया बट एट द सेम टाइम जो फाइनेंशियल कैटर था जो यू की कंपनी थी तो वो यू you नो know, उसके पैसे जो थे वो दाएँ बाएँ हो गए जब उसको लगा कि मेरे पैसे तो मैंने एप्लीकेशन भी फाइल करी जिसको इस करके डिस्मस कर दिया गया मैनेजिंग दिस कंपनी Rishi Ravindran was earlier there. Now he is not as uh, uh, director in the company. He brought this money and settled with IBC. You see, there is nothing peculiar about it. Every third day, every uh, settlement is being done like this only at NCLT level and NCLT level. Only thing is that in this particular case, the issue went up to Supreme Court, and there are some points of law which have been raised uh, in the same fashion. The way Supreme Court has. uh uh you know uh, uh, given in its judgment they said that 30a has to be uh, uh followed in letter and spirit and every possibility has been given in 30a why are you uh, circumventing 30a and straight away using your uh, um, uh, rule 11 powers on the whole supreme court has specifically said that for that matter r142 is much enlarged that rule 11 Rule eleven is you can you can follow in only IBC one forty two can be uh, followed by honourable Supreme Court in any matter where the law is not clear. They said, please restrict your 11, rule eleven uh, uh, power the way we are restricting our one forty two power. They have not written it, but the message was this only. And wherever the law is clearly providing through a section in the law or Through rules or regulation, here to be specific regulation 30A, then please follow that. What has been written, and for that practical purpose, for 12A and 30A, Supreme Court has at present put a lock on using uh, uh, Rule 11 powers for NCLT and NCLT. This is what it is.
No, no, sir. Actually, most of I was not able to convey, convey my question properly. Okay. 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 उनकी एप्लीकेशन जो थी वो डिस्पोज ऑफ कर दी गई इस करके कि आप अपना क्लेम फाइल कर दीजिए <laughs> और अल्टीमेटली सेक्शन 9 की एप्लीकेशन होगी मैं उसके उस पैसे के बारे में बात कर रहा था मैं इस पैसे के बारे में बात नहीं कर रहा था वन सर देखो ये जो 158 कोड है ये तो मैंने पहले ही कहा ये तो ना वो हुआ ये प्रमोटर ने किसी भी तरह से बेचारे ने इकट्ठा करके दे दिया होगा सेटलमेंट कर लेगी और वो पैसा जो था प्रमोटर के हाथ से निकल के और सीओसी का बन गया uh, <laughs> Mr. You yourself and all the people who are uh, here connected, all our yes, IP, sir. Uh, IPS yes, sir. Yeah, yes, sir. Uh, yes, sir. You see, every third day you must have been using the same thing, doing the same way, the settlements. You know, <laughs> you know the person who, you know, whose application the money has, uh, uh, this uh, uh, case has been admitted, Haan, you sir. have to settle with him only till the time COC is not con uh, uh, constituted. After COC, of course, 90% uh, voting right is there. Without that, you cannot uh, do any settlement. In this particular case, you, you know the beauty in this particular case? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Enlighten us. Enlighten us. Glass Trust, Glass Trust is not a financial creditor of this company. They have given the credits or facilities for US subsidiary of this Think and Tech. Think, okay, think, think. okay. Okay. Think tank. Think tank. Uh, uh, think and learn. Private limited. Thank Its U.S. subsidiary has been given few facilities uh, by class trust. However, Think and Learn Private Limited has given a corporate guarantee for the U.S. Uh, company uh, credits. As a matter of fact, in this case, the uh, COC is constituted only one creditor who is having rupees 20 crore uh, outstanding. Okay. Glass Trust is not a financial creditor in this case as yet. Okay. Okay. The concerned RP has kept them as a contingent liability, which they are fighting which they were trying to fight with in Honorable Supreme Court and Supreme Court has practically not given anything to class trust. They said we are not sitting here as adjudicating authority for adjudicating your claim. Your claim is yes, having yes. your claim is having so many dimensions. It is Delaware court proceedings or other things. So many things are there. We can't adjudicate here. You have to go to NCLT for adjudication of your claim. But RP has kept it as a Contingent liability, not even constituted liability. And he has not brought them to COC. COC is only one creditor who is having 20 crore rupees outstanding. And if Baiju has done 158 crore uh, settlement, he can jolly well do 20 crore rupees settlement also. Yes, sir. Now, yes, sir. NC NCLT has to hear. One thing more I would like to clarify here. NCLT has given full time to Glass Trust, who filed an uh, appeal there, uh, they, they were heard fully before passing this order by NCLT. And there is nothing new which has been done by NCLT here. This has been done every second day by NCLT in almost all the cases where settlement is directly coming to NCLT. That is good. Now, all these those things have been set to uh, rest and now NCLT has to deal with uh, all settlement proposals, whether uh, it is before uh, uh, admission, post admission, before uh, uh, constitution of COC, and post constitution of COC, in both the cases where EOA has been filed, uh, he has been, uh, expression of interest has been uh, published or not. So now NCLT has been given this uh, whole uh, 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 responsibility to deal with settlement. In any case, I was very feeling, I was feeling happy that, uh, you know, it, it's a basically reading of the lens. You have read it, I have read it. I have read it like this, that the procedure given by the form FA, 
वो यानी कि कहने का मतलब यह था इन नटशल कि जो भी सेटलमेंट की एप्लीकेशन है इट शुड डेफिनेटली बी रूटेड थ्रू आर पी ओनली रेदर देन यू नो पीपल एक्टिंग एक्टिंग इंडिपेंडेंटली आई वॉज हैप्पी विद डैट कि चलिए कहीं ना कहीं तो हमारी आर पी की या आई पी की पावर्स को थोड़ा सा ऑनरेबल सुप्रीम कोर्ट ने हाईलाइट करा बट देर इज अ वर्ड ऑफ क्वेश्चन फॉर आर पी यस सर बताइए ना बताइए प्लीज दर्ड ऑफ क्वेश्चन इज द मूवमेंट फॉर एफ ए इज submitted to you by the uh, concerned creditor and the company duly settlement uh, 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 agreement with you you are to follow uh, file it with nclt as per rules within 3 days and you cannot delay it uh, further you cannot keep it uh, in your pocket and say do this do that this that this uh, and then i'll file it for as till that time your concern is up to your fee only and that has been very well taken care of in 30 a to b where a guarantee a bank guarantee is to be provided for your fee if your fee is already settled then there is no question of even holding for that also you know when i took over at mumbai nclt bank yes sir yes sir 30 a to b came just uh, uh, about 25 days uh, after that it was new for everybody so in a, in a series of cases and let me tell you not yes, even a single, in not even a single case during my uh, tenure in nclt where we used powers under uh, rule 11 rather than 30a to b we were we were uh, following 12a and 30a to b in its letter and spread in all the cases and only one exception we did that where the money has already been paid to rp for towards his fee and he confirms to us that yes what certainly uh, uh, deuce uh, whatever i have incurred and whatever my fee was in that case we just dropped that bank guarantee condition because the money has already been paid to us nothing uh, no deviation except rajeshi one question i think another important uh, issue has been decided by honorable supreme court in this particular matter and that issue is relating to locus locus of this party to file an appeal uh, i'm talking about glass trust company uh, LL, uh, llc who is uh, so i think that was that was another important thing which has been said by honorable supreme courts i i request you to kindly uh, 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 enlighten us about the about the reason which has been given by honorable supreme court re- relating to this with respect to the party which is not a party to yes. this डिसीजन और मे नॉट बी अडिटर इवन करेक्ट करेक्ट so it uh, may, may may not be a party to that order but still if it is agreed agreed by that order so that party can file that is also coming from the bottom of this particular ibc code correct the, correct the proceedings in after admission of the case into insolvency the proceedings are in rem these correct. are not proceedings in persona correct Correct, correct. Before correct. that, before admission, these are proceedings in personam. Right, right, Rajesh. Personam produce proceedings are between A and B. Yes. Proceedings in RAM are anybody, any person who is not connected with the company can come and say that I have this objection and NCLT has to deal with that objection. And uh, you see what best they can do. They can dismiss it, but they have to hear him and dismiss. Definitely. not say that you are you have no no concern with this go go back you can't say that right thank you rajesh ji thank you very much i would i yeah. would uh, i would suggest that uh, the audience uh, matlab you know the participants can to ask the question yes uh, so uh, yeah i request mr can... anupam lehri to have a few words he is from you know from ex nclt principal bank to inka bhi ek apna hi unique sa experience hota hai anupam ji please share your thoughts अनुरोध कर लीजिए अपने आपको मिस्टर लाहिरी या या गुड इवनिंग गुड इवनिंग टू ऑल रिगार्डिंग दिस जजमेंट दैट डे व्हेन इट वाज 
passed that day sharma sir uh, had posted in the linkedin you say uh, i would like to contribute something here yes, i don't name the corporate data because it is an existing company going uh, doing very well and uh, but i can i can share the contents of the case Jee. yes very, please yes please a, a very big company having an outstanding of more than rupees 10000 crores it was admitted into insolvency by us for a meager sum of about 10 crore or so they came with the settlement but by that time the uh, claims were filed for about 6500 crore or so coc was not constituted but the claims came of about 6500 crore or so they came for settlement taking a wholesome view that of course 600000 uh, again same thing what this uh, 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 drill was done in honorable supreme court in this case the same drill was done by us in uh, th that case uh, in nclt mumbai and we did not allow the uh, the settlement for some time but somehow they had their fate there was a vacational bench which allowed this uh, uh, settlement and somehow the uh, and company is now running running very well there is no issue about it so you know uh, most of the time you will find that when we try to bypass the things then the problem creates in case you follow the law what has been written what is the practice what is the precedent i don't think much problem is coming in your way let me tell you in three uh, in in the entire period when i was sitting in the benches i did not find this type of uh, problems that you should do this you should do that our mind was very clear that this is to be done this is not to be done. that's all so one has to be clear in his mind definitely so i think uh, with this we can we can close our session because there are no further questions but before that let me summarize what rajesh ji has uh, told us about this judgment so two important questions were there which have been decided one is relating to the locus of this particular party so this party uh, which is glass trust company llp so because the uh, even if it is a party uh, even if, if it is not a party to the original proceedings which are appealed against uh, still if they are aggrieved by the order passed by uh, nclt uh, they can still file an appeal under section 61 and section 62 so this is one of the important uh, uh, decision important uh, ratio of this particular judgment and second important thing is that rule 11 cannot be applied when uh, when express provisions are there under law okay so in this particular case honorable uh, enclad uh, uh, invoke the provisions of rule 11 but honorable supreme court says when we are already having uh, provisions specific provisions under uh, section 12a and uh, regulation 30a then uh, the invocation of rule 11 was not justified uh, so these were two important things and uh, i think with this we can close today's session i request uh, uh, manojji manojji vote of thanks thank you very much thanks a lot and uh, you know uh, we are quite affectionate with the esteemed presence of people uh, especially our ca brothers despite you know having a last day on this in there and uh, to Sharma ji also, Jay Sharma ji also, jinko I request hi request kari aur unhone meri request ko apne busy time se nikalte hue seat kara. Thanks a lot. Thank you, Mr. Larry. Thank you, Rajesh ji. Aapko dubare aage fir ham log koi bhi naya koi judgment aata hai, we will request ki hume hume usko interpretation ke baare mein guide kare. Thank you very much, Rajesh ji. Once again.